Oh gosh. Ah. Oh god, there's so many of y'all here. <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, hi! <laughs> ah! I'm... Ah. Uh, I'm very- I'm very nervous. Please don't burn me. I'm hiding. Look at my heckin' cute ribbon. Isn't that fucking cute as hell? I have to show off my model because I don't remember how much I showed off uh, back on the model radio. But now it's my debut, so you know. And I'm breaking tradition by going from the head up. Because you people have to wait for your feet pics. Oh. There's my cute choker jacket. And my ponytail is hella cute. And I want them now. Too bad. Patience is a virtue. And it's just my tummy. My skirt with my garter. It's like mega cute. I love it. But the like I said, the garter like goes down to my knee. It has like a, a heart-shaped clip at the end. Then the loose socks and there's the damn feet. Oh you get your feet picks in, folks. Now's your chance. Feet. 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 <laughs> I also have a phone. See, 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 see? My phone is hella cute. I love my phone. There's one thing I do onto my model just like for funsies because uh, a certain anime that is airing lately, you might see it in one of my eyes. That's right. I have an eye in my- I have a star in my eyes. <laughs> I do have some expressions I made myself, like... Hmm. Hmm. Howdy. And then, of course, there's the shock. Like, what? What? How? What? There's so many of y'all here. What the heck, even? And of course, no model will be complete without a wink or a blush, right? <laughs> and then, <laughs> who am I? Just guess! I all want to touch my ch- Oh wait, I shouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> From the stars to your heart, I'm here to entertain, and this is how I got here to begin with. So, where do you actually come from? Well, I'm from this neat planet out like, you know, I guess near what y'all call the Milky Way or adjacent dish to it. Um, it's- it's a little pl it's a little planet called Stellaria. It's really nice- it's really cool there. But how did I get here? Well, it was kind of an accident. You see, I was goofing off one day, just kind of, you know, cruising around my UFO. Suddenly, everything, like, started, like, acting up and said to me UFO. I couldn't get back to Stellaria, I couldn't- and, like, suddenly this freaking wormhole? Like, open up out of nowhere? And then, I got- I ended up crash landing here on Earth. And, well, you know, I'm stuck here. I had a place to stay for, like, a few days at first, and then, you know, some guy came up to my freaking place and was demanding, you know, I pay him, and I tried to pay him. I really did, I swear. But he said he wouldn't accept something called, like, NFTs, whatever those are? You know, I, I tried to offer him freaking gla galaxy credit, galactic credits, you know? That's a perfectly acceptable currency on Solaria. But no, he wouldn't accept it. He just thought I was giving him NFTs. I was like, what the heck? So I got kicked out of my place. Eventually, I found Kisa Kisa 10. I kind of went in one day, went asking for a job, though Goma kind of tried to, like, tried to bat me out, like, with a broom or something? I don't know, it was a weird situation, but, you know, Rosie and Fig intervened, and Rixie let, eventually let me get the job. Now, now I work at the Pastry County of Kis Kis work at the Pastry County of Kisa Kisa Den. I'm, like, just, like, front of house type of thing. My attention span? Awful. Terrible. None. Non-existent. My face sizes? Well, that's a secret you can't know, or else I'd have to kill you, or wipe your memories, but, you know, that'd be a hassle if I had to wipe your memories. I'd have to, you know, find a way to knock you out, find a way to get your body down to the basement, so I could hook you up to the machine, and... Oh, okay. Here's a bunch of things I like. It's not really, you know, comprehensive or anything, it's just a lot of things I really like. 
All right, so like I mentioned before, um, Oshinoko is one of my favorite animes, mangas. Like that's why I had the art, this the uh, the star in my eye. Like, holy shit, that the manga is so fascinatingly and so fascinating and fucked up. The first episode of the series being like the length of like three episodes and adapting all all the first eight chapters of the manga was such such a great freaking move, like. I saw somebody on a site say, like, oh, it's kind of a bummer that they, you know, do the, the reveal of I getting killed, like, so early, but I'm just like, no, 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 because... Oh, shit. I'm so sorry, Goma! I'm sorry! <laughs> and, like I said, I'm a single monitor wretch. I don't notice... I have chat on my phone. But, honestly... Ah, sorry! <laughs> And then finally, I also really like, really cute, love like cute fluffy things like doggos, kitties, you know, all those, all those sort of things. Like the li little critters, little critters, little dudes, especially, especially my beloved, my favorite, Pisces, my beloved. They're so cute. They're the cutest enemy in Final Fantasy XIV. I love them so much. They're so round and fluffy. They have such big eyes, and like they have like little skinny arms and legs. They just like the Pisces. Red where the fuck are my Pisces earrings? The Pisces earrings have been in the game since fucking Stormblood. Screens, I'm about to write a freaking sternly, to sternly toned letter at you. Where the hell are my Pisces earrings? Huh? 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 But yeah. So Niana's next up on uh, our big re our big debut relay. So yeah, I don't have to banter too much longer. So yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight.